Notion just got 10 times better for writers. And I do apologize, but I had to use my most clickbait worthy thumbnail pose for this video because Notion just released a feature that I've actually been asking them to release for longer than any other feature I can think of. One that I've been asking for ever since I started using the app back in 2018. And that feature is precise text selection across multiple blocks. So welcome back to Thomas Frank Explains. My name is Thomas Frank. I explain things, primarily Notion on this channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you this brand new feature that I am super pumped about inside of Notion. So let me show you what I mean. Now you can actually take a piece of text and start selecting it across one block, and then your selection can just keep on going into additional blocks. In the past, this was impossible. In the past, if you wanted to select text that existed inside of multiple blocks, the only way to do it was to select the entire blocks themselves, which means that if you were a writer like me and you're writing a script and you wanna do precise text selection across multiple paragraphs, you couldn't really do it. And that made Notion not as good of a writing app as some of the things like Google Docs or Microsoft Word or classic word processors. But now we can actually do this. Now, there is one caveat right now to this new feature, which is that it is only live to about 50% of Notion's public user base. So if you don't have the feature live yet, it should be live for you by the end of this month. And if you are part of that lucky half, you should have it right now. So for one more demonstration, if I want to start selecting this sentence right here and I want to keep going to this sentence, I can do it. And you'll notice that when I make this selection, I have have this little text formatting menu that pops up, which allows me to make changes on a textual basis. So I can make these selected text bold, italicized. I can give it a different color or a different background if I want to. But in addition to this, the blocks are also selected as well. So if I wanna drag these two blocks, they're going to be dragged together just like they would have been if I had selected them normally. And in case you do wanna select blocks themselves, all you need to do is click outside of the text area before you start dragging. So to the left or to the right, if you start clicking and dragging, you're gonna get a block level selection, which will allow you to do the clicking and dragging or to click the block menu and do any of these operations that you could normally do. So kudos to the Notion developers who made this. And now I wanna show you how it works on the mobile apps because it does in fact work on the mobile apps as well. So basically if I want to to select text across multiple blocks on mobile, all I'm gonna do is bring up my keyboard and my cursor, double tap to get the little selection uh, handles, I suppose, and then I can just drag across multiple blocks like I normally would. Now, the one thing that you can't do on mobile apps specifically, not including tablet apps, but just for your phone, is actually click and drag multiple blocks around, though there is one sort of caveat to that. If you get out of the text manipulation menu here by clicking this little back button, you can actually scroll all the way to the right and you're gonna see these little up and down arrows. So because I've selected from a piece of text in this block to a piece of text in this block, these two blocks are essentially selected and if I hit this down button, both of those blocks are actually going to be moved down in relation to the blocks around them. There are a couple of other features that also have released very recently that I wanna show you, so that is what I'm gonna spend the rest of this video doing, the first of which being toggled headings. This is also something that I've been wanting for quite a while, but uh, if you want to actually nest content in, say, a video script underneath a heading, but you wanna actually have it be toggled, you can do that now. All you're gonna do is go ahead and type that classic slash menu and just type toggle heading, and you've got one, two, and three for choices. And these work just like toggles, except for they're basically bigger text. In addition to that, there is a new feature which allows you to actually scroll through database entries from the page view. So for example, here's my creator's companion where I plan all this content for my YouTube channels. And if I click into the modal view for one of these, you're gonna notice there are now these up and down buttons, which allow me to navigate through the pages in this specific database view without having to click back to the database itself and then re-choose a page to open up. So that's a really nice feature. Lastly, there's a tweak in the settings and members area. If you go over to this My Notifications and Settings tab, you can now set a default open on start page for your Notion workspace. So right now I've got it defaulting to my last visited page, but I could actually set it to the top page in my sidebar, which would allow me to come over to say my favorites area and drag my personal dashboard to the top. So I always see my dashboard with my daily tasks, my inbox, and all of my quick links whenever I start Notion up. 
So definitely a lot of exciting releases for sure, but that new text selection feature, precisely selecting text across multiple blocks, is the one that personally I am the most excited about because as a YouTuber, as a writer, I am always writing scripts. And when I get into the editing process, I want to be able to precisely select text so I can delete it or cut it or move it around, go through that whole edit process. So if you're a writer as well, I think Notion just got a lot better for your work. By the way, if you are a writer, if you're a content creator, if you are a YouTuber like I am, you may also wanna check out Creators Companion, which is a replication of the exact system that I use inside of Notion along with my team to run this YouTube channel, my main YouTube channel with more than 2 million subscribers, my podcast, my two blogs. Basically all of the content creation I do is planned and managed inside of this singular Notion system that we've been building and perfecting for about the past three years at this point. I've now turned it into a template and you can use it yourself. And if you wanna check it out, you can go over to thomasjfrank.com cc. It's got a content ideas area where you can capture all of your ideas for all of your channels. There is a validation view where you can make sure that you're only working on the best ideas and using your time wisely. And there is a robust project management area where you can see what stage of the production process each piece of content is at across all of your different channels. And you can even add tasks to those pieces of content. So you always know what you're supposed to be doing for each one. Once again, thomasjfrank.com cc. If you wanna check it out, there's also a support forum where I answer questions. So you're definitely not flying blind with this template. You are again, using exactly what my team and I use to make all of our content. As always, if you have questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below, or you can follow me over on Twitter at Tom Frankly. I do check Twitter quite a bit more frequently than I do for YouTube comments. So if you have a question, Twitter is probably the fastest way to get an answer, but I do check comments quite frequently as well. Uh, get subscribed if you haven't been already. I do have more tutorials and templates coming down the pipeline very soon, including one on Notion databases. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. And uh, thanks as always for watching. I'll see you in the next one.